Now for the news in detail. Despite violence that prevailed at the Gram Sabha meeting in the village of Carmona, the will of the people was imposed through a resolution not to allow mega housing project in the village. Gram Sabha meeting was convened to discuss the project by Mumbai-based builders Rahejas planned on an area of 97,300 square meters in the fourth ward of the village. Trouble began when the secretary started reading the minutes and the villagers objected to arrangements not being made of amplified sound system. At this, there was some misunderstanding between two villagers and then the hell broke loose with villagers getting engaged in fisticuffs. The fight turned violent with villagers, men and women alike, started hurling chairs, blows and kicks at each other. Ironically, Police personnel who were present before the meeting mysteriously disappeared, apparently after a call from the local MLA informed Panch member Orlando De Silva, who himself was a victim of the fracas. Orlando is representing the ward where the mega housing project with 618 apartments was planned and he had objected to this during the panchayat meeting and thus the issue was kept for the Gram Sabha. What is happening in the Gram Sabha? You are seeing? This did, is Dadagiri. Dadagiri. Did you not call the police? I had called the police. Mr. Churchill, I, I understand. The police told me that Mr. Churchill has found there is no need of a police bandabas. You please come back. And as a result, they came back. They went back. They were, they were present here at 10 o'clock. After the violent incident, two people were injured. The villagers were furious and demanded the resignation of the Carmona Sarpanch, Estacio de Costa. It is only after the tempers had cooled that the police arrived. When the issue was taken up, the villagers adopted the resolution not to allow the project in the village as it would have adverse effect on the existing infrastructure. Advocate Antonio Pereira, speaking on behalf of the Carmona locals, demanded that the Raheja project be put on hold till the regional plan 2021 is finalized. Finally, bowing down to the wishes of the people, Sarpanch Estacio de Costa said that he would go by the decision of the people. Punch member Orlando De Silva speaking to us said that four members tried to clear the project while he and another member objected to it. Who has supported? Sandra has supported. The uh, Sarpanch has supported. Sandra Fernandez has supported. Esta uh, uh, De Costa Sarpanch has supported. Deputy Sarpanch uh, Rosalind has supported. And uh, Robert Menezes has supported. Two of us has opposed. He's fine. We now, we have told them, you go to the Gram Sabha. Let the Gram Sabha decide. There was a rumour that the previous body had passed the plan and hence former Sarpanch Sony told us that they had allowed the original owner to develop the property. This file was not submitted, uh, the, the Reja Universal Private Limited, this file never came to my office when I was a Sarpanch. And uh, this is the, uh, this Reja's file, this, that's the reason I put a question for the Gram, Gram Sabha, sorry for the Gram Sabha, asking the Sarpanch, present Sarpanch, uh, uh, as, uh, during which, whose tenure the, uh, this Reja's file was submitted to the office and on which date it was forwarded to the town and country plan for the approval. So I just want to give a clarification saying that uh, I was, uh, during my tenure, this file was never submitted to the panchayat office. Okay. This was corroborated by Orlando who was also a member in the earlier dispensation also. It was not approved at all. We, what was approved was the 71 plots by the, by the owner of the property and uh, one local builder. And he promised us by giving a plain copy of the plots that these plots will be available to the locals. And first preference for Karmana people and second preference for Goans. He, he told me specifically I am not going to sell to the outsiders. Now the person, builder is one Vincent Rodriguez who is a well known in politics. Vincent Rodriguez who was UGDP of secretary, general secretary. And we took him by word and the plan was passed for 71 plots for village of Karmana. We thought rather than bringing outsiders in this plot, our locals can build houses when as they can. And the owners sold the property to some Sir Biotech India Limited for around 27 crores. And after that, the Sir Biotech India sold the property for Rahijas for 45 crores. 
Now, when I, I just had put a plan for 618 houses. I made it very clear in the panchayat meeting, I will not allow any housing in my ward. If at all a hotel comes or something small project comes, we will definitely accept it because our locals can get jobs. But it seems that the villagers are totally against the mega housing project. But there are 150 houses in uh, the ward of where Chilibat is located. This is going to bring more than 618 residences, more than 500 cars, more than uh, 71 uh, lifts, more than 93 swimming pools. We want villages to be vibrant. Goa's beauty lies in its villages. All these tourists are coming to Goa because they love the uh, local culture in Goa. And if you destroy that, what do you have? As it is, we have so many five-star hotels, which are major guzzlers of water and electricity. There's so much of a stress on our poor, fragile village economies. Can somebody please look at Goa citizens who have not gone to Portugal, England, London, whatever after liberation, but lived here and protected and loved and nourished the land and now somebody wants to snatch it away. Every issue of big projects, mega projects, which is going to change the topography and the demography of the village should not be passed to the town and country planning before it is okayed by the Gram Sabha. We are totally opposed to it. Any reason? Yes, because of the impact of such a big project on our village. It will create a lot of problems regarding the infrastructure, then regarding the demography, then regarding the ecology, and uh, drainage, garbage, all aspects. It, we fear the impact of this, such a mega this, uh, and the panchayat approving it even without referring it to the Ram Sabha was the biggest mistake. Sir Panchas Takyuti Costa informed us that if the people do not want the project, he will not allow it at all. Before there the, the, before the objection, and they, uh, Sumaji, 600 and something we fled, fled, that's why they objected to some primarily. Then revise them, file. Revise, put a meeting, and they forward it. That's all. Only four, four members forward it. Okay, but there were objections there, and because of objections, you, you placed it before the Gram Sabha today? No, 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 Gram Sabha, I declare before the meeting. I, nearly one month, I did it. I declare with Gram Sabha. Are you interested in this project? No, I am not interested. Publica, I am not interested. Unlike